In this video, we're going to look at how to draw linear graphs. Uh, these are sometimes called straight line graphs, uh, and they come in different formats. Uh, the traditional format, something like this, y equals 2x plus 1. Uh, when I say traditional format, uh, the reason I say that is because um, a straight line graph quite often comes in the format y equals mx plus c. Uh, watch the video on y equals mx plus c to find out a little bit about, a little bit more about m, uh, which is the gradient, and c, which is the y-intercept. Okay, uh, and they sometimes come in over formats. Here's an example: x plus two y equals eight. Um, whenever you're doing A-level maths, you might see this format: ax plus by plus c equals zero. Um, you get to see lots of different formats, but we're going to look at in today's lesson how to draw this purple one, y equals 2x plus 1, and this orange one, x plus 2y equals 8. Okay, a common way to draw a graph like y equals 2x plus 1 is to draw what we call an xy table. Okay, and in this table you can choose some values for x. I quite often choose these, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. Um, strictly speaking, you only need to do two points. Um, I would always do three to make sure that at least they're in a straight line with each other. Um, I quite often do more, you know, three, four, five points, just to make sure that they're all in a nice line and have worked them all out correctly. Um, Whenever you draw on this graph, whenever you get really good at maths, you can draw this graph really quickly. Um, you can look at the graph, uh, the video y equals mx plus c to see how you would draw this graph quickly using these two numbers. Um, but we're going to use the table of, um, method today. Okay, so first of all, let's look at the graph. Okay, or look at the equation of the graph. Y equals two x plus one. This is saying the y number is two times the x number plus one. So it means we're going to times all of these numbers by two and then add 1, and that'll give you the y number. So let's start off, I always start off with the positive values. 2 times the x number, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 2 times the x number, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. 2 times x, 2 times nothing is nothing, plus 1 is 1. 2 times minus 1, well 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, plus 1, remember it goes back up towards 0, minus 1. 2 times minus 2, minus 4, plus 1, minus 3. A nice way to check this is, if you notice, it goes down by 2, goes down by 2, goes down by 2, goes down by 2. So you can see that it goes in a nice linear format, okay, nice equal steps. So these are the coordinates we're going to plot, okay, so we're going to do this coordinate. Each one of these is a coordinate, each one of these pairings is a coordinate. So you're going to do 2 along, 5 up, 1 along, 3 up, 0 across, 1 up. 1 to the left, 1 down, 2 to the left, and 3 down. Okay, so <clears throat> what you should do is draw yourself a nice coordinate axis, something like this here. Okay, uh, you can see um, I've done my x and y axis and I've plotted my points, or put, um, labeled my axes, and we're going to plot the points on here. Okay, so the first coordinate is 2 across, 5 up. So you go 2 across, 5 up, and you plot that point. I use little X's whenever I plot my points. You can do little dots. Um, the only thing about dots, if you do them too finely, the examiner won't be able to see they've actually dot, they've put the dot down. So I like little X's. Uh, one across, three up. So one across, three up. Not across, one up. Not across, one up. Um, one across, one down. So one to the left. Minus one, minus one. So minus one, minus one. And the coordinate minus 2, minus 3. So minus 2, minus 3. You can see that our points, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points, are in a nice line with each other. So you get your ruler. And you're going to draw a nice smooth line through these points. Okay. And then you've drawn the graph, that's the line. Sometimes I label it up here, y equals 2x plus 1. Um, things that I would do to make sure is um, notice that I didn't just go from the first point to the last point. I actually went on and uh, beyond both points. Actually, I could have went down even further here. Uh, so you draw the line a bit longer than what you know the points that you've done. Also, you'll notice that all the points were in a straight line, so you can tell it was right straight away. And um, label it. Okay, we're now going to look at how to draw the other graph, which was x plus 2y equals 8. Uh, 
I've drawn an XY table again because that's how we're going to be drawing graphs in this video. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to work out the Y values. Now, I always find it a lot easier whenever you get Y to be the subject. Remember, that's Y equals on what you know, Y the subject, okay? Y equals and whatever it equals. Um, if you want to see how to do that, uh, watch the video on changing the subject rearranging formula. So, um, you've got X plus 2Y equals 8. You want to make x or y the subject, so you want to get y on the left-hand side on its own. So you want to get rid of the x, and you want to get rid of the 2. So let's get rid of the x first of all. So you're going to take away x from both sides of the equation. So you're going to get, on the left-hand side, 2y. On the right-hand side, 8 minus x. You want to just get y equals, so we're going to divide both sides by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. So you're going to get y equals 8 minus x divided by 2. So that means that if you want to find the y value, you're going to do 8, subtract the x value, and divide by 2. So let's work out our coordinates. So always, I always start off again with the positive ones. So it's going to be 8 minus x, y equals 8 minus x divided by 2. So x equals 2, 8 minus 2 is 6, divided by 2, well that's going to be 3. Next one, uh, 8 minus x, 8 minus 1 is 7, divided by 2, 3.5. 8 minus x, 8 minus 0 is 8, divided by 2 is 4. Okay, actually if you notice here, you can see that each time I move across, it's gone up by 0.5, so the next one I'm thinking will be 4.5 and 5. Let's have a look. 8 minus minus 1, well 8 minus minus 1 is 9, halved is 4.5. And next one, 8 minus minus 2 is 10, halved is 5. So here you see we've got our coordinates, 2, 3, 1, 3.5. 0, 4, minus 1, 4.5, and minus 2, 5. So we're going to plot these in a coordinate grid. Here's one I prepared earlier. Okay, and we're going to put the points on the graph. So, uh, let's have a look at this. So, first coordinate was 2, 3. So we're going to go 2 across, 3 up, put a little across, 1, 3.5, 1, 3.5. Okay, notice I've just put it in the middle there. 0, 4. 0 across. 4 up. Minus 1, 4.5. Minus 1, 4.5. Minus 2, 5. Minus 2, 5. You can see we've got our points in a nice straight line. So you get your ruler. Get it lined up nicely. And you draw a nice straight line for it. There, I've now drawn the graph. X plus 2Y equals 8. X plus 2Y equals 8. Okay, so that's how you draw a graph using an XY table.